Oh, it's a happy day, happy day. Now, this item was supposed to come uh, before I actually went on holidays and Sony tried to rush it to us because Sony actually sent us this, which thank you so much, Sony. We appreciate uh, you partnering with us. Uh, it means a lot to us. Uh, but uh, Pure Later, because it was coming kind of in that Christmassy season, said it would get here on this day and it arrived two days later. And by that time, I was already on vacation. So uh, I didn't get it. But number one, oh, ho, 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 where is that? Sony. There it is. And number two, Sony. So we've got the Sony ZV-1F. Which I've been really curious about, really because I use the ZV-1 a lot. I use it a lot. Um, ZV-1F and the Vlogger Kit. Now, the bonus of the Vlogger Kit, of course, is I can use it on the ZV-1F, the ZV-1, and this camera, which up here, is the uh, ZV-E10. So, I can use it on any of them, which is awesome. So, today's video, strictly an unboxing of these two pieces. Um, but we're going to uh, do a couple follow-up videos. Uh, number one, I think we're going to put it just uh, spec-wise, ZV-1F versus ZV-1, because I want you guys to really get an idea of, you know, who should buy the ZV-1F and who should buy the ZV-1, because there are some differences uh, outside of the fact that it's got an F in the name, right? There, there are some pretty big differences actually depending on you know should you spend that extra bit of money um we may do a video down the road uh zv1 f versus zv1 versus zv e10 possibly let me know in the comments if that's something of interest um we will do a vlogging test now that vlogging test may came out a little bit later because we are going to costa rica third week of january this this month this month um, and this is going to be the camera that I bring for all the vlogging style stuff. So I think that's, that's going to be fun. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to use this camera because what we're going to be doing as well as we are going to slowly be building over January. Um, uh, we're going to kind of go over the parts. We're going to build a streaming station for us. So laptop, desk, uh, I'm using the chair that I have already. So whatever, um, and all the components, so new monitor, uh, we've got a, <clears throat> a little mixing board, we've got an audio input, and of course we've got an HDMI capture. So we're gonna be using this as one of the cameras for it because this is a 20 millimeter lens and I shoot what you guys are seeing right now on a camera with a 20 mil lens. So I really wouldn't mind seeing uh, the difference. Now the other thing I may do, may do, kind of a surprise video because I've been curious, is this is my primary camera. Again, it's a camera with lens that probably costs three, four thousand dollars, right? Uh, and put it up against this camera, which doesn't cost uh, anywhere near that much. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's unbox this. Okay, number one, let's let's unbox let's unbox the vlogger kit. This is I'm really curious, you know, about this because I think this is a really useful part because especially the ZV1 and the ZV1F, both of those cameras were really designed um, and and marketed as uh, vlogging cameras, right? Now the ZV1, just ZV1, uh, the downfall of it and i love it the downfall of it of course is that it's a 24 mil lens or 24 mil equivalent uh, and then when you put also all the stabilization on it um, it does get a little tight right so unless you have really long arms or you have a selfie stick or something to get that camera out a little further um that can be a bit of an issue uh the zv1f 20 mil so something like this getting it out there uh, th this could be really good right this could be really good just get it out a little bit further but we're gonna we're gonna be playing around with this camera a lot. Anyway, this is a vlogger kit. Uh, I believe it comes in price wise, Canadian wise. I think it's somewhere in the two hundred dollar range. Uh, it does come with the uh, actual tripod slash selfie stick slash whatever you want to call it there. Plus, you get a sixty four gig memory card, which is excellent. You know, uh, wireless control your camera zoom capture and record functions. Uh, the custom button on the grip recalls the paired cameras C one custom button fix functions 
which is kind of good because I want to play around. One of the things I wouldn't mind playing around with with a custom is actually just having it set to uh, turn the stabilization on and off, unless it's easy enough to do that because stabilization is great like when vlogging mode, but if I'm actually using this to take pictures or if I'm using this uh, on, on a tripod, for instance, or on a gimbal or something like that, uh, you don't want the stabilization necessarily on, right? Uh, fully enclosed, cable-free, grip design keeps dust and moisture out. Now, just re remember it's moisture. It's not as if you should be using this when there's a, a downpour or take a swim in or anything like that, right? Okay, and of course, grip compatibility. It kind of tells you all the ones on there. It doesn't say ZVE 10 on there, but I'm pretty sure it should, right? Please update to the latest firmware. We'll do that before we take it and actually test with it. And a little kit includes. Yeah, that's, I'm down, I'm down. Again, thanks, Sony. You guys are, you guys are amazing. Amazing. And that's my knife, stuck. Okay. And it is a box within a box. And I'm guessing that's strictly because it needs to be able to carry the uh, the the memory card, which is which is right there. That's the memory card. So I'm guessing. Oh, that's actually a decent speed. Actually, 270 for 270 for read is what it says, and 70 for write. So plenty fast, plenty fast. Yeah, yeah, that'll 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 do the trick. And then your actual your actual uh, grip. So the big difference between the the vlogging kick kit and just buying this is just a memory card right and then this opens like a weird puzzle it's like a... <clears throat> so number one number one number number two number one and two so many manuals okay you get you get a little case and this is a case i'm guessing strictly for that because it's just it's just this big it's not huge right it's just going to be for this piece right there okay and then you get a fold out shooting grip with wireless remote control this would be like a uh, manual i guess useful sure i'm not gonna open that and then you get it again uh i'm guessing these are just different languages is my guess because it seems like the same deal just different languages okay uh, and, and you get a battery. Here's my battery. And that must be for this, I'm guessing. Watch battery. Now the thing is, it really, it's just enough power to power the Bluetooth, right? And there, there it is. It's, 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 it's got a really good build quality. Now here's a little, for Sony, this is, this is my thought. And maybe maybe it's something you can do. Maybe it's not something you can do. If you've ever heard of the company PTY Tech, they make a, a tripod that's sort of like this, right? And there's a lot of companies now that make a tripod that the legs kind of come out like this. Yes. So here's what you need to do because PTY Tech did this and, and this would just make this cats me out, right? Two little feet that are right here that are folded in. Yes. That the feet can pop out this way. Right, just little feet that pop out that way. Make them strong, right? Doesn't have to be crazy strong, but make them strong enough to hold the weight, of course, so that you can take this and mount this on something and then it latches and then it can't come off, right? And all you need to do, two little extra feet that pop out here. Then, then this, even though it's great now, would be greater, right? Greater, that's, because PGY Tech has that, you add that just a little feet, and I don't know if that's something that's copyrighted or come up with something that allows you to do the same thing, but Sony style, you know, Sony style. All right, so there you go, photo button. This is gonna be your, here, where am I? Photo button right there. This is gonna be your zoom in and out. And again, if you're putting this with a camera that has a manual zoom lens on it, then that's not a function, right? Uh, movie, a uh, lock, unlock, yes, and there's your custom button. But other than that, Seems built built very well. You know, nice little spinny dial right there. Yeah, that's cool. I'm down, and this battery, my guess is, goes right right in right in there, is my guess. So if we take this, for instance, and just kinda, yeah, that's that, that opens, right? And it opens somehow. I think it opened. No, maybe that doesn't open. Should open. That would have been my guess as to what that did. 
All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to find that out and we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a review video. Yes. Yes. That sounds good because that definitely seems like that should be where that is for, but I don't want to bust it. Anyways, uh, that, that's, that's that with that. Cool. <clears throat> this is the camera. Now I am going to tell you this hundred percent flat out without question. This box is ridiculously light and I don't know if the build quality is different uh, than the ZV-1, just ZV-1. Uh, it is really light and it's actually like it's really small. Like you guys see that, right? Like it's like what? I don't have a box here, right? I'm just, I don't, there's no box. There's nothing. I can cover that right there. Yep. Anyways, uh, let's open it. You're welcome for the sound. Yes, you are. <clears throat> so again, tons of documentation, right? ZV-1F, ZV-1F, different language, I'm guessing. This is accessories, yeah. Uh, reference guide, what is this? Uh, my guess is registration. Yeah, register your product for a chance to win a $1,000 Visa prepaid card. What? I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, this is a uh, help guide QR code right here. That's important. Yes, you get in here. My guess is this is the little uh, wind muff cover would be my guess. Yep. And surprisingly, even on the ZV-1 and, and the, the, the ZV-E10, this little wind muff cover thing, fantastic. That's a really good job. I'm always, always impressed with that. Uh, you get a USB-A to USB-C. Now, another perk, right? Because... I believe, I believe the ZV-1, because of its age, uh, the cable is uh, micro, I think, I think if I'm right, micro USB. So I like that better. Uh, and last but not least, that, no, it's not last but not least. There's more in here. There's something in, in here somewhere. I can feel it. Yeah, there it is. Hidden in the box. Hidden in the box. It's kind of important. Would be, where am I going? Here we go. Would be the tiniest battery. Now I think, I think this is the same battery as like the ZV-1, I think. BX-1, yeah, I think so. I think that's the same battery. Now I've got a bunch of these, but um, I actually like to sometimes use uh, a big battery because you can power the ZV-1F and ZV-1 off of their USB cable. So you plug a big battery in and you're ready to rock and roll, which is also really cool. Okay, let's put this down there. <clears throat> Last but not least, there it is. That's it. It's definitely, definitely is lighter feeling. You guys see it here, right? It's lighter feeling for sure, but it's very, very familiar. Very familiar. Nice little flip out screen. Yes. Back, back buttons look very much like the ZV-1 did. Uh, side buttons look the same. So you do have a mic input. You have your USB and you have your HDMI. Now there is no headphone jack on these, but you're looking at a budget camera, right? Uh, you have a power indicator, so like a record indicator laid on there. There's gonna be your zoom rocker over there. It looks like a, maybe another, I think that's, a, I think, I'm not sure if that's a speaker or if that's a mic that's like listening for like uh, wind noise and things like that, possibly. Um, and then of course, on off button at the top, you have your, uh, this is your mode, so you can go from camera mode to photo mode to, uh, I think they call it speed and quality, I think it's called, or something like that, which, you know, you can put it in like slow motion mode or things like that, so it's nice, it'll just button that pop, 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 right? Uh, this is going to be your like defocus button, as well as I think your custom button. There's your zoom trigger right there, and a menu, and all your other funky, funky little buttons. Um, I, again, am very, have been, still am, uh, ridiculously happy with the ZV-1. So I'm really, really, cons I'm really curious, I guess, right? There's it with the lens off right there, right? Or the lens cap off. I'm really, really curious to see uh, how this functions in comparison, especially, you know, for a couple hundred bucks less. All right, guys, this is the unboxing. Oh, the other thing too, just so you guys know, this does have a filter thread on it. So you can, like it doesn't have a built-in ND filter like uh, the ZV-1 does where it has, I can't, can't remember, maybe a one or two stop uh, ND filter in it. Uh, but you can get a thread mounted, you know, a little vari variable ND filter on there. I don't know exactly what the uh, thread size is, but I'll take a look. I'll figure that out. Next video. 
All right, guys, this is the unboxing of the ZV-1F, uh, as well as the vlog kit. And, you know, you take this, just kind of throw that on there. Now, he here's something, too, I think. I think they put this over further. I, I think. I think they put the tripod mount over further, which, honestly, if you look, it lines up really nice with this. Now, I... I as per most, you know, everybody was like, oh, I would like the tripod hole directly under this. Agreed. But when it's on here now, guess what I can do? I can open this door because on the ZV-1F or the ZV-1, sorry, I can't do that. I think the tripod hole is too close to the door if I remember properly. Um, so that that's actually a nice feature because that's one of the things, being able to change the battery in here and having to take it off your tripod all the time. This, I can still pop the door open, get access to my cards. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, uh, I'll put links down to where you can pick up the Sony ZV-1F and the Vlogger's Kit and all that kind of stuff. Um, make sure you stay tuned because we are going to have a whole bunch of videos on this little wee camera over the month of January. And uh, that's it for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Uh, welcome to 2023, and we will see you guys uh, in the next video. Later, my friends.